Welcome again friends. In the previous video discussion we have talked about the RNA editing mechanism using guide RNA mediated pathway. Now in this case we will be looking at the RNA editing in mammals, in high eukaryote in mammals. Now we will be taking an example. The example for uh, the, the modification of apolipoprotein B. Okay. Now apolipoprotein B is a very very important protein. It functions many different ways inside our body. Right? It can function as uh, the transporter of cholesterol in blood. Obviously, it can act as the absorption uh, or it can help in the absorption of uh, lipid uh, in, in, in our intestine. Okay. So, these are the uh, two different variety of function placed by Apo, uh, Apo B or uh, apolipoprotein B protein. Now, this apolipoprotein A, B or apolipoprotein B variations are also present inside our body. There are two variations of this apo B or apolipoprotein B. One is apo B48, another one is apo B102. These are the two variations that are present inside our body. Okay. Now, these are the number of amino acid residues that are present onto them. Right. Now, one part which is apo B102 is a large protein long having a long polypeptide chain apo b48 is a small protein truncated version of the same protein as apo b and we are going to see how due to the result of rna editing they produce this two form of protein from a same gene okay and this is a beautiful example of rna editing in our eukaryotic system and what we get here we are having our dna and suppose say this one so let's start with the rna because we don't bother about dna much now so suppose this is our rna segment now if this is the rna part in this rna segment we are having regions say here we are having the terminal signal like that for example this is the terminal signal so they must terminate at this particular point so from this part so this is 5 prime this is 3 prime this thing can happen now Somewhere middle here, we are having a CAA sequence, and rest of the sequence are there. I'm not uh, talking about those sequences in this particular case. Okay, so this is a region for our activity. Okay, now this is our ApoB RNA, ApoB mRNA. Okay, now this ApoB mRNA is edited using RNA edited machinery. And this addition uh, or this editing of this ApoB RNA is simply conversion of cytosine into uridine. Remember, in the previous case, when you talked about the guide RNA mediated process of RNA editing, we have seen the incorporation of uridine, uracil or uridine in uh, the base uh, inside the RNA chain, right? But in this case, what we are going to see a modification, right? So we are going to see a modification. And the modification that we want to see here is a modification for cytosyl to uracil. And how this modification can uh, be done using the deamination pathway. But if you remember the structure of cytosine, if we deaminate the cytosine, if we cleave the ammonia or amino group out of, not ammonia, sorry, amino group out of this cytosine, uh, what we get, we get the uracil. So it's a simply base, uh, base conversion, simple type of base conversion, deletion of NH2 group there and we get this uracil due to the presence of we need to provide H2O there definitely so we get this uracil right so this kind of deamination works here after this deamination so say this is a this is our mRNA of ApoB so now two form is possible let me write it here two form is possible one is so let me change the color here it is, one form, I will be writing here, one form there. So, one form is this one, another form is this one. Okay, both of them are having UA at the end. Due to editing, now in one case, say here, in this left hand side, we don't see any, we, we haven't find any editing. Editing never done in this case. So, editing is not established, so no editing. Here it is editing. Now the editing is C to U substitution. Uh, not substitution, it's a modification. C to U modification is a type of editing. Now remember there is a CAA sequence. So if there is a modification of C 
from C to U. What might be the sequence here? The sequence here will be, let me write here, here will be U, then there is A and A, so U, A, A. But in this case, we are having simply C, A, A because there is no editing. Okay. Due to this modification from C to U, we get a U, A, A somewhere middle of this total gene, which is coding for a protein. When it is not edited, the whole gene is coding from one protein. This is called apolipoprotein B. Or apolipoprotein B102, right? So it, it codes for a protein. So now what we get is a protein. Say here it is. Uh, say here it is, say, large protein. Say this is the large protein, ApoB102. But due to this modification, we incorporated U. Due to this UAA, it acts as, remember, stop signal for the translation. It's a terminational point of trans translation, right? So as a result of translation termination sequence, when translation starts, it will stop there. So what we get is a small stretch of peptide. Small stretch of peptide. So they will fold and you get a small protein. So here what we get, so let me write it in the middle. We get a long peptide. So this is the peptide. And th when this peptide folds, we get this one. So here in this case, we get a truncated peptide. Peptide up to this point. And a folding of this peptide give rise to this particular structure. Right? This is called ApoB48. Right? Yeah. ApoB48. Due to this signal, stop signal. So what we've generated as a result of RNA editing, truncated peptide. But it still functions as a protein, but a different functionality is played by this protein. Because remember, structure of protein depicts its function, right? So here the fullest function of the protein, the full structure of the protein will fold and it will make a function of this protein. And the function of this ApoB102 is to carry cholesterol in bloodstream. Okay, so let me write it here. To carry cholesterol in bloodstream but this particular protein will function differently to absorb lipid in intestine so the functionality changes okay so what we get the functionality changes so due to this editing, we get two different proteins having two different function. Now remember, from one gene, it is not possible previously using one gene, one protein concept. Now what we can see now, one gene can give rise to two different versions of protein having two different functions. That's the beautiful example of RNA editing. But now the question arises, how they modify this C to U? What are the mechanism that they use for this modification? Okay, so let's come here to discuss about the modification. Okay, I'm not going into the detail of the uh, mechanism, but I'm going to tell you how exactly they have modified this. So I delete this no editing part because we only require the editing part here. So now let's say this is the sequence. Now this sequence of CAA and there is all, always some other sequences present upstream and downstream of this region. Those sequences are the recognition site and the binding site of some proteins, some protein factors. Okay. Definitely because we require protein for functionality. So here are the proteins that are involved are one of the major protein is ApoBec. Okay, they recognize this particular type of C sequences for the modification from C to U and also sometimes for the modification of adenosine to inosine. So this ApoBec proteins usually find C or A most of the case. They, they, they tend to find the C and A sequence and bind those sequences there. Okay. So now this part of the section is a hot spot for the RNA editing. You can tell me why. Because there is 2A right after this C. Now if there is a C, A and C, we won't bother about this sequence. Because if we incorporate U there, it might change the st structure of protein, but it won't truncate, it can't produce the truncated protein, right? Because it won't produce any stop codons then. 
Now in this case as we are having two A after a C, if we change the C to U, it will provide a stop signal or a nonsense codon. Right? That's why this is much more important, much more uh, favorable for the activity. Okay. Now another thing, another concept I must tell you, which is uh, very important, is that uh, most of this RNA editing that you are going to see, they are preferably or preferentially work in the coding regions of the gene. They are not occurring in the non-coding regions. Another important thing, so these are the points, just make it a note, is that this RNA editing, I must have uh, mentioned all these things in the first video, I forgot to mention them. Now this RNA editing, first of all it is, uh, it, it, it uh, generally occurs before splicing, this is one thing, and second thing, preferentially, occurs in coding region. Preferentially occurs in coding regions. Usually did, uh, they, it, is, it was not seen uh, that the editing is done in the intron segments or so. Most of the time it occurs in the exon segments. Because changing intron segment is not a big deal because it won't lead to the change of variety of protein, right? What we want to do, we want to change the variety or variation in the protein and that can only be achieved if we modify the exon or protein coding regions, right? It's justified. Now what happens here, as I've told you, that this, there are called apobic. The proteins are called apobic. Now this apobic proteins are small RNA binding proteins. So this apobic, two apobic proteins will come to form a dimer and it will bind to this kind of recognition sequence. Okay, so they will bind there. So, let me Okay, so let me draw. Say this is our RNA which is to be edited. Now here it is the 5 prime and it is the 3 prime. UA sequence will be there and a CA sequence will be present there. Okay. Now, this apobic proteins will come and they will bind to this CA segment because here among this uh, CA total sequence we need to modify C right or cytosine so we, if we need to modify the cytosine right so this apobic dimers will come and bind to this particular segment so here says this is one apobic dimer say this is another apobic dimer so these are apobic dimers so either also called apobic 1 so apobic 1 2 apobic 1 will come and they will form, they will bind to this particular section of the RNA and they will bind using a pocket as you can see in this picture. They will bind in such a way so that they create a pocket in the middle of the binding of dimer so that C is a perfect fit onto the pop pocket. Okay. And in this binding pocket, C is fixed, or cytosine is fixed, right? So you can see from here. In this binding pocket, C is just placed. After this binding, it will also recruit some other proteins for the functionality. Because uh, though these apobic proteins are the major catalytic protein for this activity, most of the cases, but still they require some other factors to help this apobic protein to establish this process. And those accessory factors are called apobic complementation factors or ACF. Okay, so this apobic complementation factors are also required. So let me draw here. So it is called apobic complementation factor or ACF. We we'll bring the ACF to this place. Suppose this is the ACF brought to the place. After that, using the help of ACF, this apobic will modify this C to U by the deamination process. Now, during this process of editing in this particular segment of mammalian RNA, what we produce, we produce a complex with many proteins, apobic, dimer, as well as ACF and many proteins. Now, this complex is called editosome. So, let me write. It is called editosome. Now if they ask you what is editosome, now this is the structure 
in which case we don't require the guide RNA for the editing but using some internal cellular protein we are editing the sequence this is called the editosome and remember one thing that this apobic dimers will bind to the sequence to be edited obviously and the complementation factor always bind to downstream or the flanking region of this editing sequence that is very very important okay and the distance between this ACF binding region and the apobic binding region is called the gap or say it is called the linker region okay it's called the linker region and the region this apobic usually bind is called the modulator region so these are the terminologies I won't encourage you to memorize but these are the simple names for them linker and obviously modulator but usually that is important the binding of apobic in such a way so that it produces a binding cleft where the C is entrapped so that it can modify C and it will recruit ACF and ACF will be attached downstream of all this sequence okay and then the editing will be done then all this complex or editosome complex will dissociate and we get the modified RNA okay and after the modification what we get truncated protein have different function okay that's it I hope that's helpful thank you